Tell me, JR, which slut are you going to stay with tonight? What difference does it make? Whoever it is, it's got to be more interesting than the slut I'm looking at right now. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. All right, okie dokie, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man, it's so funny how people try to tell me or tell us how Donald Trump is a moron. Donald Trump is an idiot. And the only people that follow him, the maggots, they like to quote us. They're just dumb hicks. And I'm sitting back and I'm trying to figure out how this dumb ass orange guy keep beating the media. He's beating the courts. We didn't see just today Judge Cannon from Florida with Jack Smith. They said Jack Smith is a tough and tough guy and he's going to get Donald Trump. And today Judge Cannon has pushed it back indefinitely in other words they're not trying to because they got caught with their hand in the cookie jar jack smith the department of justice they all framed donald trump with these paperwork with that uh the fbi raiding his house the same thing that that uh, uh biden did had all these paperwork laying around here and here they gave him a pass but they caught Jack Smith and the Department of Justice tried to set Donald Trump up. They sent all that paperwork out there, the same paperwork, and then they go out there and say, oh, well, he took it on, he took it unlawfully. Anyway, Donald Trump keeps beating these folks. So we got that. Jack Smith, that shit's done. Thank you, Judge Cannon. We have Big Booty Fonny. That's done. That's done too. What else we got? We got Alvin Bragg. It's about this close to being done. Letitia James, we all see that. He paid it, and then that's going to be appealed. He keeps beating the media. Now, the latest with the Alvin Bragg situation, who tried to keep putting a gag order on him, find him $1,000. Oh, you're going to find him $1,000 as if though he cares. So you got him one, two times, and the dumbass, Mr. Trump, I say that lovingly, he says, okay, I got you. I got you. I'm going to go way around this gag order. And he does this. Uh, some of the statements made about this witch hunt on CNN, fake news CNN, uh, Michael Moore said the proof of falsifying records has not been accomplished. On Good Morning America, they said... So we heard that expense payments to lawyers are legal expenses. You pay a lawyer expense payments. We didn't put it down as construction costs, uh, the purchase of sheetrock, uh, the electrical cost. The legal expense that we paid was put down as legal expense. There's nothing else you could say. You don't have to put down anything, I guess. But we put down legal expense was legal expense. Is that a correct statement, Mr. Attorney? Yes. And everyone's saying, oh, gee, that's the fraud. That's what they're trying to get us on. The fact that we call a legal expense a legal expense. They marked it down in the books. The check was signed. And the other thing, this was approved by all agencies. Everybody saw this. There was nothing being hidden at all. That's what they're all writing now. There's been nothing hidden. And it went through agencies, and I guess it went through the IRS also. It went through IRS, it went through the FEC, it went through everything. Also, NBC Today showed the challenges that there is no smoking gun, 
no email or tape to prove the president's intent. They don't have a way to prove that. That's NBC Today Show. And then Fox News, Katie Chikaski, said that the gag order is unconstitutional, which of course it is. The gag order is unconstitutional. So with all that's going on, they have no case. <laughs> so to go around Judge Gag Order, he's using CNN, Fox, and other outlet media and quoting them. So now what? He's just repeating what they're saying. Brilliant move. Hey, I keep saying that he's an idiot. Man, again, if this was a, a regular back in the old day Republican, they would have folded a long time ago. This guy wants to be president and you can't deny him. How many charges have you put against him? 91? And he's about to beat all of them again? Wow. Well, he actually actually just got a... He, this guy is the luckiest guy in the world. Um, so. He definitely made a deal with the devil at some Something. Point. Something. Because yeah. he always lucks out on everything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how this idiot keeps beating the Jack Tappers, the Wolf Blitzers, the Rachel Maddows, all the media, even the Senate and, and the House. They all try to come after him, and he's beating y'all at your own game. And I keep talking about he's an idiot, he's a moron. Man, oh, man. Now, we got street smarts, and we got book smarts. We all see that Trump is a, he's a workers' man billionaire. I'm going to give you an example. Remember when Mitt Romney was running 2012? And he's a millionaire, but he was stuffy, right? And people were saying that he's disconnected. He's not with the the people. And a, a few phrases here and there about him and his uh, garbage man. He don't say how to his garbage man tank his presidency. But you see Trump, Trump is a whole different animal. He's going around, going to the firehouse with pizzas. He's going talking to the construction crew. He's the people's billionaire. He gets down in there with us. His favorite food is KFC. He eats McDonald's. He drank Coca-Cola. Mitt Romney, even though Mitt Romney is only a millionaire, he acts all sedity. He's not in touch with the people. That's what I'm saying, that Trump is a whole different animal. Because this judge is giving me a gag order and said you'll go to jail if you violate it. And frankly, you know what? Our Constitution is much more important than jail. It's not even close. I'll do that sacrifice any day. <laughs> Man, did you hear what he said? He said, I'd rather go to jail and fight for constitutional rights and then just sit back and being bullied by the judge. He's not falling for it. He's daring the judge to put me in jail. All he's going to do is put his poll numbers up. He's the first politician that I've seen that the more you see him, the higher his poll numbers go. Remember when Obama was in office, when he first came out, he was, you know, bright and shiny, new object, and everybody like, oh, Obama, Obama. And the longer he stayed, everybody's like, oh, oh, you again, Obama again. And his poll numbers are going down. 2012 against Romney, he's supposed to lose that one, but we all know what happened with that. But this guy, the more you see him in the news, his poll numbers keep going up. And you put that nigga in jail, see what happens. See what happens. Michael Avenatti, Stormy Daniels, former lawyer who's doing some jail time, he even dropping some, he dropping some gems out here. <laughs> Michael Avenatti dropped a bombshell from behind bars today and take it for what it's worth. I'm just conveying what he said. He made an allegation that a producer wanted to do a documentary on Stormy Daniels and called him on a recorded line and said, would you like to participate? And he said, well, I don't know. Is she getting paid for the documentary? Because if she is, it's probably not fair and I'm not going to do it. And the producer says, yeah, she is going to get paid for the documentary, but that's because she owes Trump hundreds of thousands of dollars in judgment. And she's just trying to make ends meet. But she has a way of concealing the money from Trump's lawyers. What they're going to do is, and what they have done, Michael says, is that they have optioned the rights to her book. They've taken the proceeds and set up a fraudulent LLC under Stormy's daughter's name. And that's how they're going to hide the money from Trump's lawyers. Not only that, 
Stormy Daniels took the stand and she's trying to give her life story and trying to make fun and joke and be laugh, laugh. And the jury is not falling for it. They're just like, uh, what is she doing? But she's trying it. The cross exam, boy, her responses were disastrous. I mean, do you hate Donald Trump? Yes, of course she does. That's a big deal. When the witness hates the person whose liberty is at stake, that's a big damn deal. And she's putting out tweets, fantasizing about him being in jail. That really undermines the credibility. The fact that she owes him $500,000, she, by order of a court, owes Donald Trump a half million dollars and said, I will never pay him, I will defy a court order. The defense is going to say she's willing to defy a court order. Why? She's not willing to respect an order of a judge. Why is she going to respect this oath she took? So I thought it went quite poorly on cross-exam. At the end of direct, I thought, okay, they got what they needed. But but I think the cross is making real inroads. Now we all see that Stormy Daniels is just trying to stay in the news and be relevant. She's a liar. She's a sociopath. And she's making a fool out of herself. But dumbass Trump... Orange man about to beat the media again. <laughs> and I'm here for it. <laughs> Black Maga stand up. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you Democrats, get your words off my lawn.